So the Pentium G3258 was the last go around that Intel had when they released an anniversary edition processor. It was the anniversary of the Pentium line. Well, time has come around again for another anniversary, but of a different kind. Probably Intel's most famous processor ever, which was the 8086, coming in nearly 40 years ago. In fact, next month in June, it will be 40 years. So with Intel on an 8th generation, and that starting with an 8, it only seems logical that they would have an Intel Core i7 8086K. So far, very little is known about it. Of course, it's shown up in the past on Chinese sites, which led it to quite a bit of discredibility, but it's now starting to show up in Western markets. So that leads us to believe that there is a more likelihood that this is a reality. And I'd like to thank our friends over at Video Cards for catching that, and you can hit them up for more information right now as far as this topic goes. But as far as specifications wise, it seems like it's gonna be very similar specifications to the current i7-8700K. So six cores, 12 threads, but this time with a bit of a slight bump to the core frequency. It looks to be around a five gigahertz turbo part. I'm gonna go with turbo rather than base clock. We really don't know. So it'll be interesting, but we're it looks like it's gonna be somewhere around the five gigahertz mark. So it's been a minute since we've seen a five gigahertz chip come out of the factory. Looking at you, 9590. So far with the listings, you're gonna expect to see a $70-ish price hike over the i7-8700K, but you are getting faster clocks out of the box, so if you were to throw it on, say, an H-class motherboard, you're gonna get those overclocked uh, speeds on a lower-end board, and you are getting an anniversary chip, so this isn't gonna be just a run-of-the-mill, so it's interesting to see that part. But that's what we have for it so far. So what are your thoughts on the new Intel i7-8086K? Do you think it's neat to have an anniversary edition part like this, or do you think it's kind of pointless? Now, me for one, I kind of like to see it. It's nice to see a beefed up variant, especially if it comes in at the same TDP as the 8700K. So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. We'd love to hear what you say about this topic down below, and we'll catch you in the next video.